Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, let us see the complete and clear explanation of all the short important questions from the subject Business Statistics which is for degree first year second semester BBA students. By watching this video, you will be perfect with part A from Business Statistics examination. Easily you can score full marks in the short question answers that is from part A. So watch the video till end and if you are new to our channel learn with Sahira subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. If you want the notes of all the subjects including business statistics you can let me know on my Instagram. Drop me a message on my Instagram. My Instagram ID is also learn with Sahira but note payment is first. Keeping this aside let us get started with the important question answers of short explanation video. So first important short question answer is primary data. First we need to know what is primary data. Primary data is nothing but data collected directly by the researcher for a specific purpose. Like if I am a researcher, I will be going with different sources to collect the data. That is nothing but primary data. Okay, we have primary data, secondary data. Primary data will be collected directly by the researcher. Secondary data means already collected data. We will take from different sources. Okay. So here sources to collect primary data is surveys, interviews, polls, observations, experiments. Okay. If a teacher asks student what is your favorite subject or if someone asks me who is my favorite actress like that, I will be saying them the answer, right? So the researcher is getting the data through direct sources like surveys, interviews, polls and all that. See, if we go to a village and if we ask them few questions, they will be answering, right? So that is nothing but collection of primary data. Then we have scatter diagram. What is scatter diagram? It is one type of graph. Okay. It shows the relationship between two variables using dots. We can see dots in this scatter diagram. How it looks? It, uh, each point represents a pair of values x and y. Okay. x equals to study hearts, y equals to marks. If more study hearts are there, more marks we will get. Okay. It shows positive correlation. In this example, we have seen positive correlation. But in scatter, scatter diagram, we have positive, negative and no correlation means scattered. Okay. Then we have statistics. Whenever you see this word statistics, first thing you have to say that it is a branch of mathematics. Okay. Or you can say it is the science of collecting or organizing, analyzing, interpreting and presenting the data. If you read it in your school, you will be having the same line. If you read it in your college, you will be having your same line. If you read it in degree also, you will be having this same line. If you read it after the degree, whenever you read it about the statistics, you will have the same thing like collecting, organizing, analyzing, interpreting and presenting the data. Okay. Like we can use the data in number of fields uh, nowadays or every time statistics is used in every field like business, education, government and all. Most of the time it is used by government. Okay. Like if we want to know the average marks of the students, we will use the statistics. If we want to know how many people have joined our school, we will use statistics. If we want to know how many people have dropped out from the school, we will use statistics. Okay. Functions we can see, we can collect the data, classify, analyze, interpret and present the data. Whatever we have seen here, that will come under the functions. If they directly ask you, define the functions of the statistics, you have to write this. Okay. Subscribe our channel, learn with Sahira here for the notes, explanation, important questions and many more. Okay subscribe it as soon as possible then we have graphical presentation graphical presentation is nothing but presentation of the data using graphs or charts okay this is really very important most of the time people will get confused in numbers most of the time people will uh, get confused in mathematics at that time we will be taking the data and we will be presenting it visually why it is used to easily understand the data highlight the trends and quick comparison we can just compare the data quickly okay and it shows monthly sales using a bar graph we are having different types of graphs okay like bar graph pie chart histogram line graph ogive curve so if you have seen my complete explanation of unit number one you will know what are the types of graphs, how they will look like and each and everything. I have already uploaded each and every unit explanation video of business statistics BBA. You can go to our channel playlist semester 2 BBA BS under which you will be finding all the videos related to BBA business statistics. Okay, just wait a minute.
yes so we have completed graphical uh, representation now we have graphs already we have seen what are the different types of graphs but now let us again see that graphs are nothing but visual representation of the data okay numerical data will be formed or it will be shown in the form of lines bars or curves okay like if 10 students are there 15 students like if number of students are there how many people love uh, apple how many people goes with banana how many people like uh, grapes like that they will be showing you right number of people will be there who will like who like that they will be saying your types of graphs already you have seen importance it makes complex data in simple it helps in comparison effective data communication mean ma mean is nothing but sum of values by number of values when we add all the values and when we divide it uh, divide it with number of values we will be getting the average okay mean is nothing but average okay if they ask you average also it is same if they ask you mean also it same like if they give you the data 10 20 30 you need to add uh, three of them okay 10 plus 20 plus 30 how much it will be 10 plus 20 plus 30 it will be 60 60 divided by how many are there 1 2 3 if we do 3 60 divided by 3 it is 20 okay median is nothing but middle value it shows us the middle data in arrange which is arranged in order like we need to first arrange the data in ascending order when we uh, arrange the data in ascending order we will get the median okay then we have mode mode is nothing but most frequent value which value repeats again and again that is nothing but mode if a value occurs most often that is mode like in the example 2 3 3 4 5 which is the number which is repeating 3 if uh, you would have 2 3 3 4 5 5 5 6 5 used to be the mode okay like that now we have what are the objectives of measures of dispersion to know the spread of variability of data how much the data is spreaded we will be coming to know through this measures of dispersion objective means nothing but goal or aim okay to understand how much values deviate from the average how the data will be scattered if it is scattered how much distance is there or how much they are deviated with each other to compare consistency between two or more data sets okay and helps in risk analysis and decision making then it is right in detail about the kurtosis kurtosis measure, uh, measures how sharp or flat a distribution curve is compared to a normal curve we have these three types you just have a look like importance we are having it helps in understanding whether the data is highly concentrated near the mean or more spread out okay so this is nothing but spread of the data ma this uh, measuring of dispersion and this one explain the importance of correlation what is the importance of correlation correlation is something which shows the relationship between two variables yes or no importance means it shows how one variable changes when another changes okay so whenever we both have, we have both the variables if one changes other will change why it will change how much it will change it will show us it helps in predicting trends okay it is useful in business for planning economics and decision making finds causive cause effect relationships it helps in research and analysis okay arithmetic mean for discrete series already we have seen the complete explanation of arithmetic mean in discrete as well as in continuous series if you didn't watch that video please go to our channel playlist there you will be finding that video now next it is list out few functions of statistics what are the functions of statistics already i have said you it is nothing but collecting organizing analyzing interpreting and presenting the data whatever uh, we have learned from that you can write in your own words or else you can write like it presents the data in the form of tables or graphs it summarizes large data using averages and percentages it analyzes and compare the data these are the features or functions ma merits of least square method sometimes they may ask you this question sometimes they may not but for the safe side you have to know okay it gives the most accurate trend line okay minimizes the sum of square squared errors it helps in forecasting future values it is easy to apply mathematically useful for long-term planning and analysis it is not suitable for short term okay it is used for long-term planning and uh, it is easy to apply mathematically okay so this was the complete explanation of short important questions from business statistics which is for degree first year second semester bba students i hope you like this video if yes let me know in the comment section if you want any other video that also you let me know in the comment section for the notes you can text me on my instagram but note payment is must all the very best bye bye